Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for clicking on the video. I am up here today at the shelter. This is the first chance I've had to get up here since we've had fall weather move in. If you kind of can tell from behind me, we got a little bit of leaves changing. Uh, there's leaf debris all over the shelter, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm just up here today uh, for a afternoon to hang out. Um, I've got work tomorrow, so I can't do an overnighter, but uh, I wanted to come up here and get out and enjoy. We've got some cooler weather today, and this is my favorite time of year. Fall is my favorite time of year to get up here. I uh, came, checked out the shelter. Everything looks really good. Now, you will notice that the covering is gone. Um, right after I built that, we had some pretty strong storms spin off of uh, a hurricane that came up in the Gulf, and even this far into Tennessee, we got uh, some pretty strong storms off of it. So um, the footings on the four posts for the covering were not really deep enough. And I kind of was afraid of that when I, when I first built it and that confirmed it. So I am going to probably fix that and redo it. I've, I've gotten a, a shovel out of storage that I had, a SOG survival shovel that'll let me plant those deeper. I'm not worrying about that today, but that is probably going to be a project that I do in the future is just to fix that and redo that. But today I thought I'd come up. I brought some food and I'm going to get a fire going in the fire pit and just come up and enjoy this weather. Check on the shelter. Um, really was in great condition. Um, as with any natural debris shelter, you know, you have to come up and, and fix things and adjust things every so often uh, animals come through here and, and all kinds of stuff like that so all in all though everything was in really good shape when i got here um, just beautiful today we've been getting a lot of rain but today we've got clear blue skies and super comfortable weather uh, enough cool enough for a long sleeve and just my favorite time of year to get up here so i really wanted to um, take today since i had the day off and come up and film so if you guys are new to the channel welcome if you're one of the my subscribers you've been here before welcome back really appreciate all the views all the great comments and you guys stopping in and watching these um, they're really fun to make i really love doing this so really appreciate you stopping in also as i mentioned in other videos if uh, you like my content here please subscribe uh, please leave a like and a comment love having new people and and all the people that have been here before in on the comments and the and the videos also um you can check out my instagram where i post up from a lot of these visits pictures and stuff that go hand in hand with these videos and additional stuff even so it's just at viking bushcraft and survival if you want to check it out there on instagram uh, i'm going to see if i can find some kind of dry firewood uh, a lot of this stuff right here in camp is a little is pretty damp so i'm going to see if i can get up some dry firewood real quick and then we'll get a fire going. Alright guys, I found uh, some really good um, little dead twigs and branches hanging off of some trees up here so this is good and dry. This should give me what I need to get the fire going. All right, just for ease of use today, since we're just up here to enjoy, um, I'm gonna use some of this Instafire. I've got my pack and then I've got my Hexa Uberlieben Fire Steel, which again, these are really great. And as far as I understand, they have these back in stock. So if you're looking for them, they go really fast when they get them. Um, but this is a half inch by, uh, I think six inch long version is what I got. But these, these are just fantastic fire steels. They throw really hot sparks really reliable so if you're looking for one i definitely recommend them
All right, I'm just gonna let that build. Um, see if any of this stuff in here is dry enough to use. Feel like it might be a little on the damp side. Even with this covering back here, this little uh, fire storage that I did, even with that there, this wood still tends to get damp uh, because it's so shaded back here and we do get a lot of rainfall in this area. So with being deep in the woods like this, it does it does still pick up moisture and some get some dampness in there. All right, guys, I'm gonna go get some more dry stuff and I'll be right back. All right, guys, got a nice fire going. I brought up some coffee with me today. I have a reduced thermos. Um, that's just a Uberlieben sticker I put on there. Well, I went about my fire still, they sent me one. But it's also got an insulated cup, that's the lid. And it's a no leak, no spill. Uh, I don't, it's like no sweat also. It's just, it's a great thermos. I bought this um, earlier this year and I used it for uh, just a very short time to take with me to work, but I, my real intention buying it was to use it for the woods that I have, you know, a nice little insulated cup that I could come out in the fall and winter with and bring coffee. I like having a hot drink out here in cool weather and I'm a big coffee drinker, so that's what I brought with me today. But I got the fire going. I've got some uh, uh, beef jerky bites that I picked up on the way up here and some other food in this bag over here. Just like I said, this is just to come up. Um, life has been a little hectic and crazy lately. I started a new job a few weeks ago, uh, which has been a nice change. Um, I don't, I think I've mentioned in a video before, um, and if you're new to the channel, uh, I used to work in a car manufacturing factory and just was not my cup of tea. It's, I just don't feel like I was cut out to do it. I did it on and off for about four years and I could do the job, but the environment was, uh, nothing I enjoyed. So I got laid off this year from it. Uh, actually twice due to COVID and the last time I just decided was an opportunity for me to uh, make some life changes and get into a less stressful job than what I was working. Um, I, my ultimate goal is to work online if I can to do things like this for YouTube and Instagram um, and support my family and what I love to do and kind of afford myself the freedom to kind of work for myself in a way. Uh, so that's, that's what I'm working towards with that. So I appreciate all you guys who are with me on that journey um, and all of you who join along the way. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate all the subscribers and followers I have on Instagram, people that have, have uh, been so supportive. Uh, I really appreciate all you guys for that. I have a lot of fun doing this and this is where my passion is and I've looked for something that I could be creative and put my passion and, and interest into for a career and so that's what I'm working towards with this so I appreciate you guys coming along for it and so today was just about coming up here um, and getting out and enjoying a beautiful day in this nice fall weather so Nothing crazy today. I'm hoping to do an overnighter up here if I can get a couple days in a row off of work. So I can come up here uh, on an afternoon and stay overnight. Uh, looks like my wife and I are going to be moving again pretty soon. Uh, we're, our, our rental 
is coming up to the end of its lease. So probably going to be moving again soon. I'm not sure where yet. Um, we also have another baby on the way. We have a little boy that is due in February of next year. Our other little boy is almost one and a half. They're all doing very well. My wife is good. Kids are good. So definitely been a lot of up and down this year, but uh, thankfully good things coming out of it. Been very blessed by God and taken care of. So really thankful that we seem to be on an upswing now <laughs> from this year. I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, I know it's been a crazy year. I know a lot of people's lives have been kind of shaken up and, and some people's even turned upside down by this. So I hope everybody watching and, and all of you out there are doing well and, and staying healthy and safe. Um, like I said, with the roof covering, I'm debating back and forth about redoing that. I think if I do it, I'm going to do it a little bit differently than I did last time. Instead of doing super long pieces that go from side to side, I'm going to do shorter pieces that go front to back across the top of it. I'll do the rectangular outline of it and then run pieces so I don't have to find such long heavy pieces to run across the top. So I think if I do it, I'm going to do that. I probably will try to give it another shot. Um, and if it doesn't hold the second time, then it just, the ground's not hard, uh, firm enough for it. So, you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I will give it one more shot probably to uh, see if I can make the roof work here. Firewood's burning up pretty quick. Uh, I did bring some pieces of gear with me that are uh, some stuff Whew, getting smoked out here. It's a lot of moisture in some of this wood, so I'm getting a lot of, a lot of smoke. But I did bring this piece up here with me. I actually won this from. A giveaway on Instagram um, it's Oregon restored tools is who made it or I'm sorry took it and um, redid it he he waxed the handle he resharpened and gave his own edge to the head on it and then it had this leather sheath but he sent this to me with some axe wax um, from with his brand on it so this is just an awesome little camp hatchet it's got a good weighty head to it but it's just an awesome little uh kind of customized piece that i want off of there uh was super surprised i don't usually ever win in win any of the, of the things i enter so you know when i got the message that i had won this that was really really cool and exciting so i brought this up here and you watched my last video about camping tools I brought the cold steel tomahawk that my best friend customized and gave to me did some Viking runes on it some file work on the head and I think he he either stained or slightly uh, heated the handle I'm not sure I think he might have stained it uh, from the look of it it looks like he stained it and I think he burned some of this with the rune on it uh, but since the channel is Viking Bushcraft and Survival and I have such an interest in Vikings and and that I thought this was really cool and um, He gave this to me a couple years ago, so I thought this would be a Appropriate piece to start carrying for the channel um, I like bringing a tomahawk out in the woods with me anyways, and so this is probably going to be one that I carry with me for the uh, good next bit 
So brought these two and then one more. I actually haven't brought this one with me in quite a while, but this is my cold steel uh, trail boss I bought last year. I've had it for about a year now and oh, I'm sorry. Um, I've had it for uh, Close to two years now last year. I took it on a camp out trip up here uh, and that was the first real um, Camping trip it got to go on and really get put to use, but I have had it. I had it longer than that so I bought it early 2019 so yeah it's getting close to two years over a year and a half close to two years that I've owned this really excellent axe I mean these are super affordable now you do have to buy a mask for it it doesn't come with a with a sheath or a mask of any kind I got this one by uh, the company Helco uh, it's a German axe company and they they sell masks separately so I bought the medium of this, and it fits the trail boss perfectly. Very adjustable leather strap on it for retention. I just seat it right here on the back of the, the back of the uh, axe head, and it lock it locks up underneath there. Doesn't slide off and keeps it secure. So I brought this up here today. I'm probably going to do a little bit of um, firewood processing with it here in just a minute. So. Um, the one I've been bringing with me the last several times is the Condor Cloudburst, which I absolutely love also. But I wanted to get the Trail Boss out as well. And one thing I do like about the Trail Boss is the handle is just a little bit longer. It's, uh, I think, about three inches longer than the Condor. So it gives you a little bit more swing and uh, just a really great axe. I've, I've used this, like I said, on a camping trip last year. I've used it where I used to live. And uh, it, it handles firewood very well. Super solid handle. Very sturdy axe. Other than that, um, I brought a few knives with me because I'm doing some uh, photography stuff while I'm up here today as well. So it's not, I, I wouldn't normally bring this many items with me except that I'm trying to do uh, photos for uh, my Instagram channel or my Instagram page. And um, I try to, get as much out of these trips up here um, as I can so I'm gonna cut up some firewood and eat a little bit and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in just a little while hey guys I'm back I just uh, been taking some pictures and had something to eat just been enjoying this day out here it's such perfect weather so right now I'm just cutting up a little bit more firewood a lot of what I'm cutting up is fairly small so it's burning down fairly quickly So, still got the fire going. Over here. Right over here in the fire pit. So, just been enjoying the afternoon. It's been an awesome day to come up here and enjoy this. I've got uh, about an hour and a half left out here. And then I'll be... I'll uh, go home to my wife and little boy. They're out today. Uh, my wife's doing some work for her family, so she's taking care of their kids, and our little boy is playing with them, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to come up here and uh, just enjoy getting out in the woods. I've been doing some pictures of my Condor Bowie. I did bring this with me today. Uh, this has just been such an awesome knife. Um, I can't recommend it enough. It is such a balanced and beefy knife. I, I constantly see comments on this about 
big choppers are worthless and this is a garbage knife that can't do anything um, but th this knife is great for camp work um, you know the saying uh, small knives can't do big knife work but big knives can do small knife work and I really think that's true if you if you keep your edge good and touched up on this you can feather stick you can do um, a lot of small detail work now are you gonna carve a spoon with this no uh, this it's it is too big for that and there are there are small knife tasks that a small knife is just always gonna be better at but for a large camp knife that is all around well balanced and can handle chopping feather sticking all kinds of of camp tasks I can't recommend this knife enough this is excellent craftsmanship from Condor um, I've I have been impressed with every product I've bought of theirs and I've got some more pieces from them that I'm wanting to try out in the future so I definitely recommend Condor um, a lot of people don't like the leather sheet that comes with I actually do uh, it is a tight fit but at least in my case with this one through continual use and taking the knife out and putting it back in it has definitely loosened up from when I first bought it a good bit and it's much easier to use it's much easier to um, get the knife out but the nice thing is is it's not gonna slip out it, it's it's even if you don't have the retention strap on it it's just not it's so um, snug and locked in place in there so as I have said in the past that is a great knife really recommend it um, well, I'm just gonna hang up here hang out up here by the fire for a bit longer uh, like I said I've got about an hour hour and a half before I'm gonna head on out probably going to do a little exploring around really appreciate you guys watching please as i always say um shoot me any ideas any suggestions any videos you'd like to see um i've had uh so my buddy came up i told you guys he was coming up from or coming down from alaska and was going to be coming to tennessee for a few weeks well he's he's come and gone so he came out here and saw the camp with me and uh didn't get to hang out with him as much as i would have liked to we didn't get to do quite as much as we had planned on for him being here but the way those things go you know trips and and weeks go by quick so we got we did get to spend uh several outings together we got to come up here and he got to see the camp um but he's been um really encouraging me to uh, do another another shelter build so i'm probably going to be starting a new shelter this fall um there's some woods back off this way you, you can't see but there's a path that goes off down over here and goes to another really big stretch of woods and so I'm thinking I'm gonna get good ways away from this one uh, for one thing I've used a lot of the resources around here but I'm pretty sure um, that there should be plenty back there there should be plenty of stuff back there to do so I'm going to uh, probably start a new shelter build uh, let's see we're in October either end of this month or beginning of the next month I'm hoping to get up here and start building on a second shelter so I'm playing around with ideas if you've got anything uh, you're interested in seeing uh, any ideas on a shelter you'd like to see me put together or try uh, shoot a comment to me um, I always love getting suggestions or, or video ideas that you guys would like to see so overnighter here is hopefully um, going to be my next fall video here and then starting a new shelter in a few weeks are just some of the videos I have coming up plans for I uh, really enjoy building this one and it's just it's really sparked my imagination for what I want to do with another one so I got a lot of ideas and a lot of stuff I I'm kicking around for a second shelter build so I think that's going to be about it today really appreciate you guys watching thank you so much to everybody who watches these videos and, and all the support and comments like i said if you're new i uh, hope you'll consider subscribing I'd love to have you here on the channel my name is chris uh my, my channel is viking bushcraft and survival and that is just because i have always had a an interest in um, kind of medieval viking era stuff throughout almost as far back as i can remember in my life so well, I changed the channel name uh, a year or so ago, and that really stuck with me. 
and and so that's why I decided to go with. So, welcome to the channel. I hope to see you around again, and I will be back out here soon. Take care, guys.